when you look all around you and you see poverty in Nigeria today, you think it's by accident. It's not by accident. It is by design. Poverty and ignorance are important ingredients in the maintenance of feudal orders. The more you know, the more questions you would ask. And the richer you are, the more time you have on your hand to think. Your capacity to use your brain is a challenge to feudalism. That is why you have weaponized ignorance chasing Nigerians around. The poverty you also see is by design. Because the poorer you are, the less likely that you are going to ask questions of those who rule you. So you have this idea of feudalism that started as part of a culture, but that has transcended that culture. It used to be that when you're talking feudalism, people are waiting to see an emir, or they are waiting to see a sultan, or an akali. But the reality is that that idea, and that is where we come back to the ideas again, that idea is like a virus. It has dumped host, where it used to exist only within the Fulani culture. It now exists in each and every Nigerian culture. Your governors are not unlike emirs. The president is not unlike the sultan. The government does not exist for all. It exists for a class. Feudalism does not work on the basis of the rule of law. It works on the basis of impunity, which means that somebody somewhere must be able to decide to whom the rules would apply and to whom it wouldn't apply, to whom the laws should apply and who should be above the law. So you find very quickly that it is impossible to build a nation because nations thrive on citizenship. Citizenship comes only when there is equality and the law is ruling. And it is only when you have citizens that you are likely to ever have patriots. So you have a country, yes, but you don't have citizens. You have ruiners in place of rulers and there are definitely no leaders. When you speak to leadership, you're talking about vision. It means that the person can close their eyes and see where they are going, even with their eyes closed. The Nigerian is forced to engage Nigeria as a tribesman. You are either an Igbo, a Yoruba, a Nijo, a Kalabari, a Fulani, and you are either something of that or the other. Nobody ever treats you as a Nigerian and a human being. The only reason that has not happened is because of the need to preserve the capacity to apply unfair advantages. So you can't have an identikit of a Nigerian. So those of us who believe that this country can be better, first thing first, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. It doesn't say love your neighbor more than yourself. Let's be clear. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now that you've learned to love your neighbor as yourself, how do you come out of this mess? Because we are still in a mess. And I was talking to an idea that I said is what is required to confront the idea that we are struggling with. So what is this idea? That idea is of an egalitarian Nigeria. One that has sufficient room for each and every one of those who live within its borders. Your religiosity, your ethnicity should not matter. The class you come from should not matter. It is only when we find these commonalities that it becomes easy to isolate those who have oppressed all of us. There is only so much that can be said in one day. And only so much can be fitted into 30 minutes that I have already taken liberties by giving myself some more time. But no matter how long I stand here to talk to you, whatever I say is useless if there is no love in your heart to hear me. But when you're done embracing the love in your heart, you must also embrace one other reality. And that is the reality that tells you that however long you live, I've said it already, you will go one day. But when you're gone, what will be said that you did whilst you were here? Nigeria is laboring. It's in the labor room, all right. Just as one Nigeria died in 1966, there is another Nigeria that must die. It's not that the will that it must die. Because if that Nigeria does not die, what is being designed for my children and your children and our children's children is scary. Ideas rule the world. The Taliban waited 20 years on the strength of their ideas. America, with all of its might, got tired and left. There are Talibans in your government. They are waiting. And the only thing that will stop them are superior ideas. The only idea that I have to share with you is the one that says, love your neighbor as yourselves, but insist. Are you hearing me again? Insist that you are not less than any other man. Because... The entire idea of Western civilization was created on one basic biblical precept, the equality of all men. 
the creation and erection of feudal states is also found on one principle the inequality acceptable non-equality of all men so that second nation that needs to be battered because this one is going to die is the one that understands that all men are equal thank you very much